critical reflection means to me looking deeply at something, um, not only the how you're doing it, what you've done, but most importantly, why you're doing it and where that's going to take you, what you're going to do with that information to inform you about your practice, your teaching, your intention, and how you're going to use that um, to transform things into something better. I think critical reflection is really valuable. I, I love doing it. I think it gives you an insight into pedagogy and into what you're really doing as such. As, um, it allows you to take a step back. Um, it allows you to think, and sometimes that reflection doesn't happen immediately. It could be that if you've noted something down, it might be two days, it might be a week, it might be a month, that when you've taken a step away from it, you can look at it and it can give you so much more information and just give you, a, it works as a guide for where you want to head. Well, I think it improves outcomes for everyone um, because you're looking at what went well, what didn't go so well, but you're looking at the philosophy behind why you did it. I think from that you can say, well, maybe next time we might try this, but the reasons why we're trying it is embedded in um, your philosophy, the culture, it might be embedded in a theory, it might, it's embedded in best practice, there might be something in the standard that you might want to go back and reflect on and see how you're actually doing that. I think it benefits everybody and I think also that benefit is, spreads out to the community as well.